Okay, let's take a look. Project I'm working right now on right now. I'm rebuilding a Bachman crane. And it is the old crane. It is the 1980s crane. Um, but this is this is a newer version of that same crane. So this is the crane that, that I'm talking about. The old the toy version, it's basically the same, but it doesn't have the metal wheels in it. And it's not quite as nice as this, but it's basically the same thing. So let's take a look at it. Now, if you remember, here's the old Athern full-on die-cast metal one that goes at the Colossus Roundhouse. So the Bachman one is going to be the next crane in that series. And what we're doing is this one, I'm going to put lights in this one. And I want to show you how you can put lights in it. So the idea is they're going to be interior cab lights. And I'm going to use these little SMDs, little tiny ones. So I want to put four light one, one in the back, one on the side again, one in the back. So the inside. Now I painted the inside kind of a teal color. Then I coated it with that glow in the dark paint. Like we did on those SD40s. And it should give a pretty neat interior look to it. So cab off. Here's what the cab sits on. I also got this one painted that color and then coated it with glow in the dark. But the question is how do you get power into cab of the crane because the crane turns around so what are you going to do with the wires and stuff I'm going to show you something here is the deck the way we're going to do that and I here are the old trucks I put a wiper on there what I did was I this had plastic wheels somewhere I had this bag of these special super nice metal wheels and they're like the thin profile they might be like RP25 wheels I don't know, I haven't been, didn't use them for anything, never had any reason to use these, but I had them. And they fit perfect in this uh, Bachman truck. I am keeping the couplers on the truck. Just because I don't feel like, this is not a special crane, this cost me like two bucks at a train show. Because it was, the boom was melted and bent almost to a 90 degree angle. And if you can look here, you can see it's still bent. And what I did to straighten it was I I sort of clamped it in a bench vise and sort of straightened it out a little bit. Then I drilled some holes. I put a screw through it. And I put a nut and a washer on the other side and basically forced it into position. Now it's a little mangled, but that's okay. It gives it some character. Anyways, back to this guy. So I got trucks. I tested these on the track. One wheel has a nylon washer around it, or nylon bearing, so they don't short out. So I tested this and found that you get power from the wheel and the axle. So I took a piece of copper sheet, I drilled a tiny hole, soldered one wire to it. Then I pulled the wire tight and I super glued the wire. So the sheet is not glued on there. And I cut it. As you can see, I cut two down the middle and I made two little strips there. So one brushes this axle, one does that one, and the back side does that one. And I will get power from one side of this. Then we take the other one and do the same thing and get power from the other side. Okay, then... We go into this and I put two holes here, bigger holes. So when the trucks are on here, that wire will go through there and come up through here. Now underneath, it has this weight in it. I'm not going to use this weight because I don't want I don't want to go through trouble trying to figure out drilling holes and and um, or making cutouts or whatever to get this to fix. So all I'm going to do, little handy dandy lead weights, and I'm going to 
just glue them in various places so that the hole that I want from here, that the wire can run there. But the total of the number of lead weights I have is going to be heavier than the total weight of this. This is equal to five of these pieces. And I can get just a couple more. I can get six of them for sure. I might be able to get seven or eight of them in here. Then the wires will run through. And they are going, there's a little hole right here. And a little hole right there. And come to the top side. And I took some copper sheet. I traced a square on the copper sheet with a, a ruler. Sort of drew a circle in it. I took my scissors and I started doing some calculus, some derivative calculus. What that means is you start, you cut a corner of the square and then you cut a little more and you keep cutting, 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 just lines straight off until you go around and get finer and finer and you get a circle. That's what calculus does. It has a tangent to a line and you cut off. That way you don't have to try trimming around a circle. You just keep cutting tangents. Then, because one side is red rail, one side is black rail, I cut out a strip across the middle. And on the bottom here, I've got two wipers glued on here. I had these old pieces from some old motor. I could have used copper strip, but I had these, and I thought, hey, those probably fit right, just right. And they do. Fits right on there. So... They will sit, each one of them will sit on, on part of the copper sheet. One will be here, one will be there. If you rotate around, they will cross over so they don't short. And the other thing is, if you rotate it just a little bit this way, they'll be in the gap. Lights will shut off. Pretty neat, huh? That is not an original idea. That is the way an Atlas turntable works. That's the way our Colossus 1 turntable works. So now I've got power that comes up inside the crane. So if I put in this bridge rectifier inside the crane like we did in our cleaning car, this crane will work for DC or DCC. Now, DCC, the lights will just be on all the time unless you turn it. And shut the lights off. Otherwise, they'll just be constant on. In DC, the lights will come on when you you got power on the track. Then the lights will come on, and you can turn it around, and you won't have a short. And that's all we're gonna do. And we're gonna put some neat lights in here. And I've got these guys. These are big SMDs. I'm thinking of putting top each cab. One of those panels sticking straight up like a work light and i'll take the ends of some resistors i cut off and i'll mount the smd to the resistor uh wire and they'll be just up there like spotlights that's the plan for right now and it should be pretty cool you can use this for dc or dcc it should be a pretty good project and then later get this thing all working We'll do a reveal on it and then we'll probably just do one from the very beginning straight through all the way to the end because i've got no shortage of cranes around here 